Say what? The Democrats promised its voters something and they actually lied to them? Tricked them? Deceived them? No way. You're nothing but a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, heartbreaker. How are you guys doing? I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure that you're following me on all the platforms you see above and below. And that Modern Renaissance way that it's spelled up there in the rumble, don't worry about that. It's supposed to be spelled like that. I know it's not spelled correctly, but it's supposed to be spelled like that, okay? Uh, hit this thumbs up button. That way my content can consistently be recommended to you and it helps push it out in the YouTube shadow banning algorithm world, all right? Last but not least, double check and make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because people are being unsubscribed to the channel right oh boy 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 folks i think that this is just like classic 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 of the tricks that the democrat party pulled out so if you guys do not know and you haven't been following beyonce showed up to speak on behalf of kamala harris and i know this is a little bit old but it's new to me because i didn't know that this happened so you guys saw the other day where I covered Beyonce speaking at Kamala Harris's campaign in Texas. And I got up there and I told you guys I was going to dismantle anything that Beyonce said the same way I did Tyler Perry, right? Beyonce got up there and I was like, wow, hmm, interesting. Lizzo spoke on behalf of Kamala Harris. She looked classy. She spoke her piece. Usher comes up to the stage. He comes up there. He speaks his piece. Okay. Eminem comes up, speaks his piece, moves on. Samuel L. Jackson, the actor, came up, spoke, said what he had to say, what he was forced to say, what all of them were forced to say. Tyler Perry gets up, puts on a bunch of bull crap lines, talking points. Then Beyonce. So my point is saying is they're pulling out all these big, huge celebrities. I don't know why they think that they're supposed to mean that this is going to mean that they're going to have a huge influence in the way that people are going to think and vote because it works. Let's keep it real. They wouldn't be doing it if it didn't work. All right. Now, my point is saying all that is this. I think they realized from the beginning that when they had Meg the Stallion twerking in front of people, shaking her butt in front of people about her song, Body Adi Adi. That once Meg Thee Stallion left, there were videos of people leaving. Now, what they're not going to show you guys is the part where the crowd got pissed off because Beyonce was going to be there. Beyonce did come there. Beyonce spoke and Beyonce left. Now tell me, why would the crowd get pissed off? And started actually booing Kamala Harris. Why would the crowd get mad and start leaving, ladies and gentlemen? Well, this is why. We are so happy to be standing here on this stage as proud country Texas women supporting and celebrating the one and only Vice President Kamala Harris. Beyonce declaring her support for Harris at a rally in her hometown of Houston. Kamala Harris rally in Houston, Texas was absolutely insane. You saw Beyonce and Kelly Rowland walked out. Kelly looked like Beetlejuice. And then after that, Kamala walks out, right? She gives him the hug and everybody's so mad because they're like, what, what? Beyonce only spoke for three minutes? I thought we were gonna get a free concert. Wait, what, what's going on? Wait, why is she hugging Kamala? I thought this was a concert. Oh, and then Kelly and Beyonce have a nice little moment, you know, reminiscing. And then everybody realizes it was a bait and switch and they walk their butts out. As soon as Kamala got on that dang stage, everybody was pissed off, rightfully so. They duped us. They duped the entire city of Houston, Texas. 30,000 pissed off people right before an election less than two weeks away. What is Kamala Harris thinking? It was a night to forget, I'll tell you that much. Kamala Harris. You know, last night my opponent had one of these. And they bust in people, but you know, they got Beyonce and Beyonce, you know, Beyonce. Blah. They got Beyonce. 
So Beyonce went up, spoke for a couple of minutes, and then left, and the place went crazy. They booed the hell out of everybody. I thank you. They thought she was going to perform. Now, I would have no interest in that, but they said, and what happened is my opponent got up and started speaking. They booed the hell out of her. It's Crazy. So they have to use people to get people to come, and then they send buses. We don't send buses. Everybody comes. We're just going to make America great again. It's very simple. Yeah. So don't sit here and tell me that they didn't deceitfully, masterfully trick these people into thinking that they were getting ready to get a free concert from Beyonce. Those people came out and they wanted to see Beyonce. I'm, y'all, that is the only way she is going to be able to draw crowds to that magnitude is to have some stardom there. Those people wanted to see Beyonce sing. They wanted to see her perform and she didn't do it. And when she didn't, they got pissed off. They started leaving. They started booing. And that is what a lot of these news outlets are not going to show you guys. You can't make Kamala Harris look bad. We got to keep on trying to pump her up. But people know that the honeymoon is over. She's not doing good. You don't start pulling out all these big heavy hitters if you were doing so well. So, in my opinion, why wouldn't they do that? That's what they do. I don't care if it's or I don't care if it's the right or the left doing it. Nobody should have to trick you and deceive you or lure you in, seduce you in any kind of way by trying to have somebody that they know that you're going to follow, somebody that you may idolize to be there to put on a concert to entertain you. And when they didn't do it, look at the crowd's reaction because they weren't there for you, Kamala, plain and simple. Am I wrong? Guys, let me know what y'all all think about this whole scenario. Do you think it was wrong? Do you think that that was the actual deal that they told a lot of the crowd there? Do you think that the crowd was only there for Beyonce? Do you think that Kamala Harris cannot draw no crowds like that unless she has some type of celebrities on the list? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comment section after this video. Don't forget to see what you guys um, seeing that cloud right there please be sure to do that if you would please the next video that i would do most likely in chronological order is going to be up here things that i do on this channel as a variety that you may not know that i do that could help you will be down here i am ty smith minor renaissance man hoping and praying that every last one of you have food shelter and clothing and most of all i pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally physically emotionally spiritually god bless you all through jesus